Hey, man, you know what it is. You know the voice by now. It's the Jug, man, a.k.a. Young Ralph. And right now, man, I'm live from in the apartment. Hey, Pauline. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, this your boy Pauline, and we live from DJ House Studios. And we in the apartment with Pauline. Meet me in the apartments. Listen, I love my city, ATL. Only thing I love more than my city is the west side of my city. Shout out to Bankhead, Long Live Eat, uh, Long Live Shout Low. Rest easy, squad. Rest easy, we fly. Listen, it's a lot, a lot of history that goes on in the city behind the scenes. And a lot of this history is what really built Atlanta to be what it is right now. You know what I'm saying? And I know when, the, when we check out, when Atlanta got the baton and we started running with it, when we got the baton, it was already racist was going on before we even just got the baton like that. And when I say the baton, I, I mentioned 2004, five, six. After then, when Atlanta got it, we really just had that shit. But during these times, when everybody was getting these deals, there was a lot going on around here, and there was a lot of artists really helped shaking these clubs up and these music and these producers and doing songs with niggas just moving around. And I always just feel like a lot of times, the people who didn't never make, get a chance to make a real big shot tend to get overlooked. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about the streets, the streets know. So with this platform, I should be glad to be able to share stories, to be able to provide y'all with information to understand how shit really was. Because, you know, back then, one person would be like, boy, hell yeah, well, we did this right here and we did this. And you talk to somebody else and they'll be like, hey, boy, you know, we did this and did this and did this. You see what I'm saying? And then you get both of them together, and they'll be like, well, now we ain't go right there. You'll be like, oh, no, we didn't go there. But you've been on top of somebody else that did right there because over time it happens. You know what I'm saying? Right. So my next guest is a person who really just been putting it down, who really just been putting in work down in the city, who really just been moving around, grinding. The highest levels he done touch. The, the, the chitlin' circuits, he done fucking move. He's one of the reasons. He's, he's a lot of these nigga favorite rappers. A lot of y'all rappers really, look, really used to look up to him. You know what I'm saying? This is my homie. You know what I'm saying? In a time where when everybody was having hits, 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 he was the first nigga from his side of town to really pop this shit off. You know what I'm saying? And really just put that shit on the map. My motherfucking bro. You know what I'm saying? What, like to welcome my next guest, Jug, man. Yes, 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 yes. You did what I'm saying. Pile, what's up? I'm glad to be in the park, man. We're in an apartment with it. Where the torch at? Yeah, the torch. The got torch. Got a note on file. Yes, sir. Where the light at, man? I ain't there. I ain't got no light. Let me see a light. Somebody pay me a light at one time. Oh, it's on my lap. We got the torch. Got the torch. Yeah, man. What's I'm up glad. Song? What's up, man? I'm glad to be light? here, man. I've been, I've been waiting to come to the apartment, man. Now, I'm going to tell you this, too. I'm going to say this first. Like, this, this homie, homie shit. You know what I'm saying? You look bright. Appreciate that, you bro. Look bright, dog. Yeah, same to you, you bro. Bright. You know, no, you know, you already you know. know. I fought with you. Look bright. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you look, you look. What's the what's the fancy word name? Exuberant. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's a yeah, new one for man. me. That's, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you look bright. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. So, okay. like, I can tell by the way you're glowing, bro. That everything your mental is right. It's, everything's around you is good. It's moving. It, 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 when I be in pocket to say that. I can say you. I can say you right, bro. Like, and it, it, it took time to get like that, though. But yeah, hell yeah. As of the day, I feel good as hell, bro. Like that for real. You know what I'm saying? Blessed to be here, bro. Nah. And I yeah. appreciate that. That motivation. Nah. See, see, we did, when we talk, we gonna talk on some, on some other shit. We might say some shit, and nigga, the mofo might be watching, might not understand. Exactly. What are you talking about? And that's cool, though. You see what I'm saying? Because this ain't just not no no regular. You know what I'm saying? Person I just got sent down here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like your whole <clears throat> journey. I done, I done watched you. I done been with you. Exactly. Like I said, we done done shit. We done had conversations out after situations and situations and situations. And I just, you, you're my brother. I don't look at you like, oh, that's, that's, that's Ralph. That's goddamn, no, that's not a rapper. No, that's, that's my bro. You Sign, know what I'm saying? Sign here, bro. Shit a little different. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, I don't even really look at you like a rapper. You just rap. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, yeah. some of these niggas is real rappers. Exactly. See, I don't really fuck with rappers. You know what I'm saying? They cool, but I don't really fuck with rappers. Like, I don't have a relationship with rappers. Because they, we, don't, we don't stand on the same morals. We don't, 
We don't understand it. We don't think the same. We don't feel the same. We don't move the same. You're going to do rapper shit. Because you're trying to be a rapper. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? I'm on some street nigga time. I'm just rapping. So if you ain't understand the time I'm on, I could be cool with you, but I can't fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? And one thing about it too, bro, I ain't gonna lie, you been like that. Even when I even when I went like that, you were like that. You like hey, that. Hey, nah, Ralph. Come on, Lake got that whoop whoop going here, whoop whoop. They said I told you, told you. They said pull on tell Lake, pull on up. I don't be around all the nigga around me. Yeah, I'm talking about you been like that. I ain't trying He'll to. let me go. You know what I'm saying? I I actually I should be I be understanding. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? But I understand. I understand now, though. Like, <clears throat> not even just you. I understand why people move like they move. I want. I, I, I understood why I had to start moving how I move. You know what I'm saying? So, it all, it all, it all, it all happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. It don't happen when you wanted to. Only when it's time to. Facts. <clears throat> Facts. Or well, sometimes it happens. We just miss the sign. Well, so shit. we had to take another trip around. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's okay then. They don't have plenty of time for them. <laughs> everybody go through the same thing. Everybody go through. You're going to learn the same mistake 10 times, different, different ways. A nigga finish you 10 times, different, different ways. You be like, why ain't going to let a nigga get me like that in that time? Then they get you another way. you like, ah, oh, shit. Why ain't going to let a nigga get me like that in that time? Yeah, you're right, too. <laughs> yeah. Same thing again. Same thing again. Till you learn, till you should start understanding. Listen. For everybody who's watching there, all my viewers and all my listeners, what I always like to do is I like to go back for the people who know you, for the people who may not know you, for the people who may know of you. You know what I'm saying? Because I always feel like it's, it's a lot of time we like artists, but we never know who they are. You see what I'm saying? We just right. know their music and the shit we hear in the blogs and on the social media, right. but we never know who they are. You know what I'm saying? So in here, I like to get to know the person that we got sent down here. So let's take them all the way back to where you were born and where you from, what side of town. Man, I'm born in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I was born at Grady. My mama was born at Grady. My mama, mama was born at Grady. <laughs> um, when I was born, I was born on my hold on, mama hold on, hold on, hold on, west side. Go, hold on, hold on, before we go there, before we go there. Why you, why you keep stressing Grady? Cause I'm telling, I got, I got. Listen, my viewers, they always ask me about Atlanta <laughs> shit all the time. And I be telling them. You say, you know why, what I'm saying? No. Why I say Grady? Because to me, Grady, like when you say Grady, not saying nothing else, ain't just Atlanta. Yeah. But I be saying Grady, cause when you say Grady, you are gonna know. Okay, yeah, he really. Georgia from Baptist is Grady. Georgia Baptist too. I got family yeah. from Georgia. I'm just saying, Baptist Georgia too. Baptist is Grady. If you ask that boy in Georgia Baptist Grady. Oh, 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 them too. You yeah, say, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long, yeah. I can yeah. say Crawford Long too. Yeah, yeah. yeah Crawford yeah. Long too. But you, you got that way back then. I don't even think it was a Crawford Long, was it? Huh? Was no Crawford Long. It was Grady and Georgia Baptist, wasn't Grady it? Grady and Georgia Baptist. That's it. If you had one born, if you had in the 80s and 90s, you had one born in Grady and Georgia Baptist, I'm real might be on your ass. Yeah, she on your She on your <laughs> She on your she, she talking about you. <laughs> nah, for <laughs> real. Just, so, boom, you born at Grady. Where the first place you went to? Well, when I was born, my mom and them, they, when we, they, they, they originally from the west side, Kimberly Court. And I mean, they were my mom and my family were raised there. And then I uh, went to West Atlanta Elementary School for a little while. Then we went to, moved and went to Crawford Long, moved to Cleveland Avenue, making play. And I've been over there ever since. And then she moved back to the, my mom moved back to the west side on Plainville. But I still was on Cleveland Avenue every day. I went to school there at South Atlanta. We stayed over there, played the sports all on Cleveland Avenue. And shit. Graduated from South Atlanta, and had how, my. Old, how old you were when you moved to the uh, to the South? I was about eight. When I moved, moved about eight when I moved to Cleveland Avenue. About, I was eight. about eight. So you 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 now so you at that age where you, well you understand the, the difference now. You old enough, eight old enough to be like, oh yeah, okay, this shit a little different from this shit over here. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, hey, What yeah. was the, what was the difference? You know what I'm saying? Moving from the west to the south. Like, on the west, it was like more. Uh, it was more like West Side, more like growing up. It was it was like it was different on the South Side. It was more like you can explore more on the on the on the way. You got down down there. It was it was it was, it was, it was like the Chicago Chicago we are now back then when we yeah. were growing up. It was like West Side, like it was dangerous. We couldn't even do too much. So we go on the other side. Then it was kind of. The good so you, side, you can you move, move around south yeah, a little yeah. more. But the south bigger, that shit big as shit, bro. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, bigger here. But see, some some part of the south ain't the south side to like to, to well to well, how I was raised. Some parts of the south, how people say in the south, I don't even really can't tell you where the south stopper started. Listen, I just know. All right, so listen, I'm asking you to ever say this. You stand me as a stranger too. Now, cause you, 
Like, you're the first person from the three who I had this conversation with. All right? Now, if you speak South Side Atlanta, stop at Cleveland. Really, Cleveland and John Burr South, and on the back side of 285, that little back part right there, that's really the South. Right. Hateville, you ain't, you done. You in Hateville now. Is you that, ain't in Atlanta Yeah, no Hateville got their own little you, community you're, you're jail and everything. That different. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you get a lot of them Hateville. So now, you're going yeah, to Hateville, you're, Hateville, 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 Andy Griffin jail. So that's jail. the South. That's the South side of Atlanta. But when I hear South, I immediately think, oh, that God be. You know what I'm saying? Because no, nobody from the South of Atlanta say I'm from the South side of Atlanta. They say I'm from the three. Every nigga from the South Atlanta say I'm from the three. Don't nobody say I'm from, I'm from the South side. Nobody. Right. I say you know I'm saying? from the three. That's they, what they say. So that's how when niggas say the South, niggas think got them old neck, got the road now because they inherit the South because niggas in the South Atlanta say the three. Yeah, they don't know the two. It really the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was telling, I was telling my homie the difference was is I'm already speaking about the city of Atlanta, not Metro Atlanta. Right. It's a difference. You know I like what I'm saying? She, I like, Metro I, Atlanta is everything inside like 25. You know what I'm saying? Well, she talking about the city of Atlanta because, you know, people not from here. So when they see all these people say, I'm from Atlanta, from Atlanta, and then they hear the song, they don't really be understanding. So what? So so how they? They don't really be understanding. So the easiest version is, I'm already talking about the city of Atlanta. You got to see. You go to East Point, you from East Point. You know why? Because you stay in the city of East Point. <laughs> yeah, that what the signs You see, you see what I'm yeah. saying? If you're in Hateville, you from Hateville because yeah. you stay in the city of Hateville. Yeah, she ain't lying because that's what, what the signs say. When you go that way, it's going to tell you. City of East Point, city limit. You know what I'm saying? So no, that's fact. East Point. You can't say shit now. This is Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? You from Atlanta, but you in East Point in Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get what she was saying. Yeah. Totally. Nah, for real, for real. Nah, totally. For real, for real. So, boom. As a youngin, what type of shit that you were seeing that you was like, as a young nigga, it's always two things. You're going to see some shit and be like, but I ain't fuck with that shit. Or you're going to see some shit and be like, what the hell that is? What them niggas doing over there? Well, I want to try to do that. <clears throat> what type of things you were seeing, like, I ain't fucking with that shit? And what type of thing you were seeing, like, yeah, I'm fucking with that shit? And I'm talking about, like, 9, 10, 11, like, them younger ages. Man, back then, like, when I was around my, I used to be, like, back around my buddies. <clears throat> I used to be like, we used to do a little stuff, and I used to be like, you know how we playing sport, it would be cool. But then I go around my cousin, them, my cousin tweeting them, my uncle them. They be having, they be having shit going on like back then, the car back then, clothes that we ain't used to see. And they be like, boy, I want to do that. I want whatever car doing. I ain't know what they were doing, but like whatever, whatever aunt they them, doing. whatever I want to go around aunt them. Whatever, cause you know, every time you come around, you again you left those clothes again, you they, but you. Well, yeah, I want to be like that, but you don't even know what shit. I don't even know what what, what going on. But I, you want to be like that? Be, wanna yeah, I want to be like that. Like yeah, that how, that how I was when I was growing up, especially around that age. I used to go do little little boy stuff like, but every time I could, I used to want to be around them. Go over cool house, just go see. Yeah, you I want to go there. Yeah, go be around that. What age you jumped out of the porch? Man, I say I was about honestly, I was about sixteen. About sixteen. Yeah. I was about 15, really 15. I was about 15, I started had, getting a little zips of weed. I had on all, uh, did, did some little crazy stuff and had on made some money. Had on bought me, I got caught. You know how I be. Yeah, yeah. I got caught, had some little Reggie. Kept a couple zip. I think, I ain't gonna lie, I think. I don't know how I got in trouble. I think Baby told on me or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Baby said that ain't my weed. <laughs> you know, they weed. wouldn't eat. He, he was, I bought baby some shoes too, I think. I had no money, my mama. Said, Going to school the next day, she was like, how you get them shoes from? And there it came out from there. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> my brother bought them. <laughs> he said, well, and then she was how you get them? Then I told a girl about them. She said, a girl bought both of y'all some shoes. Like, yeah, she bought both of us some shoes. Every day. Every day. New shoe every, every day. I had about three pairs of shoes. I, we did about four days straight. I had a big, I remember Dada. Remember that? When yeah, Dada, Dada had a big yeah, yeah. on, I always used to want one. I had a big on Dada coat. I had one about that, and I had the shoe to match. But my mom do back then. Now, mom got, she she was, a, now, now she the greatest mom in the world. I love her to death. But, man, she'll go buy her some shit, man. Me and baby and my little brother and sister down there have a me. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, man, this shit got to stop, man. Like, somebody got to have a choice. Like, you remember that time? One time, man, she bought us a shoe, cost a dollar a piece. 
they were she spent four dollars and some change on all four pairs. We went, we went, we went over my cousin them how they made a song, bro. I ain't gonna never forget that. They were like, them shoes, them shoes, them family dollar shoes, they make me scream and holler. They only call one dollar. <laughs> me and baby, I'm talking about the whole day. I'm talking about I ain't wanna do nothing, pop no five crowd. But look, but look though. Well, how old you want then? I was about, I was around that age, man. I was about 13. They, 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 they were fucking it. They were led me to say, I'm going to help mama. Fuck this shit. I'm going to help mama out, man. She got, then one time she had no guy to shoe. One time she bought me some Rydell's, and I don't know what Rydell was. So I wore the Rydell to school, and I, I mean, and I like the Jones, you know. But I was in the lunch line, you know. One of my buddies just ran up, safe, safe. I'm like, the hell this nigga talking about? He like, nigga, you got on some goddamn cleats. Man, I look on the bottom of my shoes, she done bought me some damn uh, cleat that you wear on the turf. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I say? love you, mama. What are you right up on your head, dog? Safe. Oh, shit, <laughs> what? I done been laughing. I don't been, been through it. I don't been through it. But once I joined out that porch and started seeing how, like, being able to buy stuff I like myself, though, like, it made me want more of that myself. Like, and then, like, I ain't never been no follow even when young when my little buddy and them used to be doing crazy shit. I used to always be like, man, hell no, nah, I ain't with that. I ain't, even though I don't got peer pressure doing some dumb shit, but when, you know, you get blessed out of it, you be like, you know what? I ain't going back. I ain't, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm you gonna caught do the hustle it. side, you ain't catch the wild side. Man, I ain't catch the wild side. wild side, side you like, boy, no. Fuck that, Them niggas yeah. going to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't, nah, I ain't like it when I all the time I don't win. I ain't like it. I did the shit to go, but boy, I, shit, boy, I, 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 I try to rush. I, I try to rush out that motherfucker every time, boy. Keep tuned. I'm talking about like shit like this shit just easy. You know. Do you, you know how, uh, I be. how how are you when you first started smoking? You would say was you smoking when you first started selling weed or you started selling weed? Nah, first? I was selling weed. I was selling weed first. And then I started smoking. I had tried smoking at at high school with my buddy where what was in? I was in like I was in like the long grade one. No, nah, going into tenth grade. Going in the tent, I went in school. My buddy, I'm talking about, hit them motherfucker. I fuck around and hit it, bro. I ain't never felt like that before. Like, how it made you feel, dog? Well, like nauseous, like I had something wrong with me. Like, I was too much THC in your body. Yeah, I was nervous. Walked into school high. and got everybody caught, man. That the first time I did some sitting nine shit, and I ain't do it no more. What you told them for? Yeah, me got down. What you smell like weed? What you got to say? Shit, I was smoking with Bias and Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I got everybody three days. Cause shit, I had I, Cause in, in my household back then, I had to have a story where I can lie and say, well, they did it and I just was involved, but it could just be I would have got them now. Nah, nah mom do want to hit that shit. She wasn't going for that. My mom wasn't going for it. She wasn't going for it. Hell no. Nah. She wasn't going for it. I had to get it right though. But yeah, I started selling weed, then started smoking. And when I started, and you know, I was crazy, bro. I felt crazy. I was like, I ain't never doing this no more. Soon as the high came down, like I wanted to, I was like, I want to feel like that again, <laughs> like that same way, sick and all, like <laughs> I want to oh, feel. Look. Yeah, yeah, but and then I just, I just ran with the smoking, like I love, I love that weed. You must already have some. You must already have some customers in your mind already. Or you just like fuck that shit. I'm just gonna do it. I, now I was like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna sell it to my buddy now. They smoke. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it to my partner now. You were I'm, smart. I'm selling to them. Hustle ambition. And it started working like that too until I got I got hooked on my own drug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't they told you that shit. Yeah. I Don't started getting disciplined though. You know how I go. I started getting disciplined and, and shit started getting right. Nah, for real, for real. So boom, you go through the whole high school. As you going through school, are you got do you have plans like, nigga, I'm goddamn I'm going to school or fuck this shit. Now I can't wait to school over with so I can hustle. Goddamn, or I'm, I'm trying to move the I'm trying to move out more and do house. What was your focus like coming out of high school, like doing doing them times before you graduated? I already knew like what I was doing. I had to get out her house though. I was just ready like to get out her house. Like can't wait to graduate. And I I was hoping I was gonna go play baseball because I was good at hell in baseball. And then it Who just playing baseball. In field everywhere, really. I was a troop in baseball too. Play for school. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I played for Cleveland Avenue too. I, I, I was good at here. I, was, I had the team down there at Southside Park. Team Jug, man. Again, we, used to, we won the championship one year. Again, Ken, them no team wanted to make it. We beat them one time. They cheated the next year. He went and hired all type of MLB player. That nigga sound like Shaw Lowe. Yeah, he went and hired all the that MLB. That's what Lowe used to do. I learned that yeah, shit from Lowe. Yeah. Yeah. They go stack your team up, Lay. Don't even but play. Shit, you go knew, get 
But in school, though, I already knew, though, like, I used to have a vision all the time, though, bro. Like, that for real. Like, even then, I used to be, I'm different, though, bro. I be I be even telling my buddy, them I might be weird. Like, if I think of something, a dream song, I be thinking, like, I'm going to do that. Like, I can do that, bro, because I just felt it. But some people don't see it or can't even see that far because they ain't feel it or they don't think, like, shit can happen. You know what I'm saying? Some people just be happy. All other folks will say, like, boy, he... He made, but you can do the same thing and go forward. So when I used to see certain shit, I used to be like, "Why? I'm gonna I'm get some. I ain't know how. I I ain't know if it was gonna come for selling some drugs. I ain't know why. But I was like, I'm gonna get some I'm gonna money. Get some. Yeah, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna do some. Some gonna. Some Cause I always want like take care of the people around me. Ever since like my stepdad was like that. My stepdad a bit time he always like try to do stuff like extra stuff. Like I used to wreck the cars and be like in my head, damn man, I wish I had money to buy my mom another car. He'll just have another car, like, and type of shit. I was working, though, a nine-to-five type of shit. And I'm like, damn, like, you need a really provider type. Even with me, like, he, he make everything happen. I'm like, I won't be like that, but not like that, but like like that. I won't take care of shit. Yeah, I won't hit way. I won't hit way, but yeah. my own my own giant type of shit. And I started manifesting all that shit. It started just happening, like, you know what I mean? For real, for real. Do I you- moved out my house. I moved out my mama's house. I graduated June the 2nd. I moved out of my mama's house June the 3rd. You were gone? I was gone. You yeah, already had it in your mind plan? Yeah, I already had it in my plan. I moved no furniture, no net. She got you a spot. The guy apartment. That thing you got a spot you know. in three? Oh, no. My first apartment on Old National. Hidden Woods, oh, yeah. out Garvey Road. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10E. Yeah, you're talking about in the motherfucking hood. How important do you think it was having that strong uh, structure and foundation? You know what I'm saying? With Mon Dukes, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and homie, goddamn, showing you what that was. How you, how do, how important do you think that was in the success that you was having outside the house? Um, it's, it was very important, really, cause like it showed me like how I, how, how I wanted to be with my family, like growing up, like even if him and my mama didn't see eye to eye, he ain't let that affect us. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't even my real, my he my real daddy, but he ain't my real daddy. Man, him, you know what I'm saying? Like, but my other baby brother and baby sister, he they daddy, but he made sure I had the same thing more than them because I was the oldest. So, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they may feel he get more, but he always been like that. Always been like, and I felt like it, it taught me like, no matter what, man, how hard it get, you still can do it. If he do it with a nine to five, I know you can do it. Just, even if it come again a nine to five, like I just always look that shit. He kept everything going with, with it. So it just let me know, boy. They ain't got to go out, go left field every time. Sometimes you can just step it down a little bit and make it work. And the reason I ask that, because I know it be, it's a lot of, it's a lot of people who want to be street, but they come from good families. You see what I'm saying? And it's like all the good things that they see and they, and they get a chance to experience and witness, they, they revert and go totally away from that shit. You see what I'm saying? And then you got niggas, who from the hood, who going through shit, but then they got good examples around them too. But instead of pulling away from these good examples around them, they want to be like, man, I ain't got them working no goddamn job, bro. They don't see, but they got about two cars, bro. They ain't working a job. They don't see that. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I was asking you. So for anybody who watching, they can try to kind of, if they got around them, they can try to pull from them and say, oh, you know what? That, Let me take that, that too. Come, and, and that's another thing. That come from the leadership. Not having no leadership, no guidance. Some folk leader be who ain't even never led nobody, you know what I'm saying? So folk be looking up to some they ain't even, they don't even know what they looking up to. They just looking up to an image. They ain't nothing behind the image though, you know what I'm saying? I don't did it, you know what I'm saying? You be looking up to some they ain't even never dealt. You bigger than that, what you looking at, what you looking up to. But some people just falling because they think that's the rope, bro, because they ain't have no leadership. They ain't know how to feel to do without or to lose something. It cool to do that. That would make you don't lose it again. I ain't even used to know none of this until I went through all of it, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, bro, be following the wrong leader, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't even them. And they be portraying something. And then when it when it double back, it always show that ain't them. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? That's why if you out here and you got a nigga that you follow, whether he's a big homie, big brother, cousin, it don't even matter. If they ain't got nothing going on they self, they ain't got no emotion going on, if they ain't got no business, something that they, they got some money 
uh, coming in every day from. If they ain't got nobody they showing love to, they looking for, out, looking out for, or trying to help be better. If they on the block with your ass every day, trying to tell your ass what to do all the time, got down trying to tell you need to do this and this, and, 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 and they ain't got nothing going on, find you somebody else to be with, dog. You want to follow people who can lead you. And how can somebody lead you if they don't know where they're going? You know what I'm saying? How can somebody tell you how to go through something with your girl if niggas ain't never had no real relationship? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. How can a yeah, nigga yeah. tell you about some money and how to stack some money if a nigga ain't never got no money for real? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't understand, but Call. these niggas, they're my big, they're my big dog. Nigga be calling nigga big dog be younger than them. And get what crazy? It be called they see, they see more than they ever had. It don't know that ain't nothing. Some people see see people with money busting out their pocket and be and they'll make the amount. But home got fifty thousand in pocket. You can't even fit fifty thousand in your pocket like that. It gotta be all hundred. But if you know money, you know money, and they bust all that hundred thousand on them. Oh, you, you know, know they just excited about about it's yeah. the wrong shit. Five thousand, know twenty, ten thousand. You niggas. get you get what I'm saying? They 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 gonna say, you yeah. know, it's the hype, bro. Everybody be they be especially now, like they everybody psyched out by the hype, bro. Uh, Instagram, social media, T V video they think it's them they think these folk rapping about they life and some of these folk just rapping it just sound good yeah. it rhyme Facts. i don't put some shit on paper that just rhyme it Facts. just rhyme bro Facts. because niggas in, i see this what this what people get the difference but see i'm gonna tell you one thing i can say about you you have always been a rapper and an entertainer all right the other nigga be trying to be street niggas it's a difference. You see what I'm saying? It's that, shit, that shit a big old difference. You know what I'm saying? And niggas get like to get both of them mixed up. Every time you hear a nigga talking about some gangster shit on the song, that don't mean that this nigga is gangster. So every nigga who write gangster movies know about that life. He, he, from, that, he, from, he from that shit. No. Sometimes niggas have got hella imagination. They can put some shit together and make it make sense like a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Nigga got to read that. You ain't never tried to... Be like, oh, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. You just all oh. actually, I think you you always been too humble to me. I think oh no, I, I realized that myself. You always told me that. Uh, so many people tell me that, bro. I'm talking about so many people tell me that. I I learned that. You know what I'm saying? I learned that that can hurt me too. And I always tried to do that to shrink myself, bro. Like the movie, honey, I shrunk the kid. I do that to make all my people and everybody around me feel like I ain't too big. I'm still even when I knew I was out of here. I still was like, hell no. Like, when I was like, I'm finna move to L.A. When I first got a deal, I was like, I'm gonna move to L.A. for hell no. I can't do that. All my buddies can't go. Or all my family can't go. I'm thinking about the, I always think too, too far ahead before I think about me. And then that shit kind of, it ain't, it's good to be like that, but it ain't, bro. Like, humble shit cool. And I, I ain't telling nobody not to be humble. You supposed to be humble, but it, that shit is a line, though. You got to draw a line and know when. When to, when to let a nigga know that's enough or when to yourself, not even to the people. Like, you got to goddamn humble yourself enough to know, hell, no, nah, I'm bigger than that. And a lot of shit I do, I sit back and look at it like, damn, man, I did that. Uh, I shouldn't have did that, but then I don't be mad because I don't got in a, in a trend where I beat myself up about it. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But, hell, yeah, I feel I was too humble too, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm still the same humble dude, but I just know how to do that, use that shit. You know what I mean? It just speaks on your own. Um Unselfishness, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's you know like that's, it's like a two-edged sword sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like the yin yang sometimes can go up, sometimes it go down. So let me ask you this: Do you think your strong love for your hood and your community kind of held you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think if you if you can go back now, would you move straight to LA or would you would have stayed and kind of did it different? Nah, I would have just chose how I move how. I, how I move, hang, and kick it. And like, I would have chose, I would have did, I would have pulled up in the hood and did community shit instead of just been chilling in the community. You know what I'm saying? That was, I was doing the wrong shit in the community. You know what I'm saying? Even though I did, I done did a lot of shit for my community, but I could have did a lot of more shit. You know what I'm saying? I could have been doing more shit with my time. And by me just being around people, they thinking I'm them. Like, meaning, yeah. oh, he ain't got nothing. I just seen him today. I can have a show. Nigga ain't gonna want to spend a home. He just rolled past and seen me all day. For free, they're yeah. just chilling. I'm doing regular shit like them, so I'm chilling, falling asleep in my car. I'm cooling, smoking my good weed, but they ain't looking at it. They're like, 
this nigga just sm I'm smoking all day. I'm doing real rapper shit, but I'm with them. I ain't doing it with another rapper. I ain't with I'm you every day. I'm doing it with the hood, so they put me with the hood. Like, oh, he us. When really, I'm like this. When I leave them, I'm going to do some shit they can never, can't even do. Can't even they do. can't even get this call, but they don't see that. that they ain't see that because I was, when they do see me, they what they judging me off. You know what I'm saying? Like, so at the end of the day, I blame myself for that. So, but at the end of the day, I was trying to show them, like, I ain't going nowhere. We all can do it. I'm still here. Um, anybody yeah. in my hood ever asked me to do anything, bro, I did it. Now, it I'm going to tell you, don't blame yourself. I'm going to tell you, look at it like this. It's kind of like Martin Luther King was the first of his kind. He wasn't the first. You see what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of them before he got there. They gave him the strength to do what he was doing. You see what I'm saying? It always got to be people who paved the way before people. Always. You know what I'm saying? Somebody right. got, ain't that going on here. Somebody got to go on this block and stay on this motherfucker and get chased by the police just to get people to come in the motherfucker, just to make more niggas want to come to this bitch. And take a start off. You see what I'm saying? And then you got to think about this. In these times, when, when we had ideas and all the music started jumping off, it wasn't, it wasn't no motherfucking format to this shit. Who the fuck we know who had a deal before us? Beside, but on your side, beside Sammy Sam. Well, on, on my side, beside Kilo. Who the fuck had did it? On? We ain't had nobody be like, hey, bro, so how did music shit work? So what we need to do? Hey, do we need to, you need to stay in the studio? They, niggas didn't have no, niggas didn't. None. It wasn't, bro. We were None. just doing what we thought well, nigga right. supposed to do. Exactly. But I ain't leave my nigga. I'm going to rock out with my nigga. I'm, 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 I'm right here with my nigga. Fuck this shit. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So don't 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 look at it as, as, a, as a situation like, damn, I blame myself. Like, you had to go through that. You know what I'm saying? To show niggas something else. You know what I'm saying? To show niggas something else. If right. if we don't go through, if a nigga, if, if motherfucker don't burn their hand on fire, but everybody gonna walk around and motherfucker burnt, burnt, burnt their hand. You see what I'm saying? And you take one nigga to be like, oh, no, nah, we ain't going down that road. Don't go down that exactly. road. Don't do that. Don't do that. So now we can do this tell it. And y'all nigga, right. get your ass up out of that bitch. And, that, and get what? That's what I take it at. And that's why I always show them, bro. That's that. Even when people think they getting over playing me, bro, that's why I always do what I do, bro. Because I'm just showing you, bro. Don't listen. This shit easy for me. That's I'm really showing you. This shit, I do this. I'm just showing, like, I, any nigga in my hood, I need a bird. It could be somebody who ain't never, nobody ever even thought of. Because he look up, Jew. But, bro, I pull up on him for real. Make it a date. What, Jew? Go crazy on this song. You know what? I do that to show. But sometimes, You'll have people on my level look at that and be like, Google my name and be like, what the hell? Name of them coming up. Why the hell? And then they'll fall back like, yo, man. That's how the gang go, whether they're real or fake. But yep. nigga like, yo, and then they ain't, once again, that come from being around that so much, though. Yeah, I, I ain't never looked at it like that. I, I might I might just add that shit to the time. What the fuck? Why damn? Then why nigga don't be fucking with me or some shit like that? Yeah, yeah you want on too, lady. That for real saying? though, no cap. You want on too. I do this on everybody. I don't give a you fuck. fuck. You you a real nigga, but get what? But you listen. But you but probably you... be the only nigga who can challenge me and who did more versus free versus for niggas in the city ever. Yeah, I probably can. I can challenge. I ever. probably can challenge. That's I probably can challenge. You been trying to challenge. Ain't nobody, nobody, nobody else and no other rapper they ain't gonna big do it, or bro. small. I don't give a fuck who it is can challenge us with doing features for niggas. People, they can't. I don't give a fuck. Video too. I don't give a fuck they nobody. Can't. And get what, bro? I always tell a nigga this. This is real talk. I tell a nigga, you ask. Hey, I'm one of my buddies, bro, about you. Bro, you gonna always be legend to me, bro. You did shit with Wayne, bro. Wayne, the biggest nigga in the whole game, bro. And the nigga said, Palais. Just like Ross. Like, yeah. bro, big boy. I fuck with Big. Big a real nigga. Never changed on the nigga. Yeah. But same shit. He called me Ralph when he see me. Like, know what I mean? That's why I say, bro, you did shit with Wayne. That's why I say, we, we them. So if people, yeah. people don't be stunned like, I had to learn it too, bro. Some people don't care about what's going on now. They care about what's been done. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's what's been done. Some people know it takes a seed to make a flower grow, bro. We part of the seed and the flowers. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So some people know, but that that probably or that jewel. Some people hate to hear that. Some people just hate a nigga prison, bro. Like for me, and people don't dislike me or dislike you. We ain't them type of nigga. It's who we is. For them not to be where they think we supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But we still get that same love when we walk in. More than that. Because that's creative, bro. We ain't creative player. You gonna be the same nigga when the camera go off. I'm gonna be the same nigga when the camera go off. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so there were a lot of hate. Uh, Niggas can't do what we do. They can't. Let me say, they can't do what we do. Money can't buy shit. 
I'm, I'm trying to, I'm in my head now trying to think, man, anybody else know something, help me out. I'm trying to think of some niggas who got down, like, how they fuck with some music in the city, how is a motherfucker, then they had their decline. But nigga was still fucking with them in decline like it was when them nigga was up. You see what I'm saying? Like, like you, nigga, Gucci, got it, Bird, I don't give a fuck what happened and what generation come, but nigga gonna always find rap gonna be in the goddamn mix. But these niggas don't be in the mix. These niggas fall off, it's done. They at the bottom with the sharks. Tell you ain't what. no tread water, ain't no swimming, ain't no nothing. Nigga be dead. Tell you why. But what you just said. Ain't nobody did more free verses and show more Lord. That when the Lord kick in, that's when I stop being mad about what I don't got or what I ain't got yet because it's coming. Just keep catering to them type of yeah, people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's when that kick in. You dig? Not for real, not for real. When, when you start doing music? Man, I was about 17. 17. I started rap. I started just that freestyling shit. I always used to rap, write bone shit down on paper and write it in school. Me and my boy Sean Cooper, my boy Broadway brother. We used to, I used to be in class just rapping, just rapping all the shit, like the fastest shit they rap. Like, then I fuck around and wrote a song, let my buddy buy your head. He took me down. He was like, man, that ain't it. Why that shit, that shit wacky here? You remember like, the song? Yo, I don't even want to sing, Polly. He was time, man. Oh, bro. Yeah, he old. He it, it was something about a girl, though. It was like, oh, so all. <laughs> <laughs> what it saying, man? <laughs> this shit on the nigga, like, I was trying to rap something about, about, about some lady, bro. It was on some, I was like, I'm in love with a thug. And he give me like a lots of love. He treat me like a lady. For sure, that is my baby. My boy was like, hell no, nah, that ain't it, bro. <laughs> you gonna get a girl to do the hood yeah, for I, you? Yeah, I, gonna, I told him I'm trying to find somebody to sing them more. He was like, well, I don't give a damn who sang. That shit ain't it. <laughs> so I got down like, fuck that. I, I let that go. I fuck around. Started just got down. When you, you, you part of the reason I got down rough, bro. That's crazy. You. I used to got down, go, try to rap. They ain't want to fuck with me. Fuck around white teeth. Fuck her throw back. I look clean in my white teeth. I don't know how the fuck I can get in. Get these niggas to fuck with me. I was like, I look clean in my throw back. In my throw back. Yep. In my, then the other dude, I forgot my boy name. He had the throw back song. Then we was at the club. I forgot well, where I was it was at. Hold on. The, throw back boy. Throw back boy. Yeah. They had the throw back boy. I was a throw back young and I came up with that song. Yeah. Yeah. Then me and you was at, I forgot what club we was at. You, you was in that motor, you had the whole fucking west side with you too. I had, um, we were, we were deep in hell. You did the goddamn white tee. We did that motherfucker, we dealt. And after that, shit, I said the shit. I don't even know. I think that we came brothers after that or some shit. But boy, that how I started, I started after that. They ain't fuck with me. That shit went, faded away. Like, my shit faded away. I was like, fuck, what the hell I need to do now? Goddamn start still just trying to rap. Fat head was like, you gonna fuck around? Like, hell yeah. Fat head started going around. Head, yeah, fat head started going around with me. I started going in the studio. I fuck around, got some beat. Fuck around, got a beat from Dre, who used to be at the studio with Ken. He gave me a beat. I wasn't even really fucking with it like that. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna rap on that bitch anyway. I just rap. I was like, everywhere I go, and everywhere I be, I don't even talk. But they still know it me. And I was like, I gotta put something on that shit. Then by the little right there, I was just smoking fat hair because I look like man. I don't know what y'all think about that. Like, that shit, that hard. I went and recorded the shit. That thing know them. We start going to all the clubs and shit. I did the Cleveland Avenue work, dog. I did all that shit and then got down. Shit just started. I started going out performing that shit. Then all of a sudden, niggas start saying that shit word for word. Like everywhere we go, I'm like, what the fuck? And then we go and got down to leave. Yeah, then we start I'm going. Yeah, I'm like, God damn. Dogs, then I came up, why they call you the Jew, man? Because I Jew, man. I'm like, oh, they fucking with this shit then. It just went from there. Universal came, got down down here, tried to sign me at the Coco Loco. Coco motherfucking Loco. Yeah, they came down here, tried to sign me and Fat Hairs in there. I mean, Fat Hairs said, boy, you got to got down, boy, you got to let do it. I was like, no, nah, Fat Hairs, we got to. He was telling me, but you got to. I was like, nah, I had no call Ken and got down, told him these folks had don't got down. Hit me up, I ain't know what was going on, you know, shit. Then, you know, back then, you know, Ken would have got down. Yeah. I like, he the man. You know, Fathead got down his shit. I was like, we gonna put it together. And got down that shit. We handled that little shit. And them folks end up signing the nigga, bro. I ain't even know that shit was gonna go like that. Like, even when I was doing a little rapping shit, like, we going out of the club, though. We just was looking at that shit like, we just going out to throw money. We just going out tonight to get some girl. We just going out tonight, Jada. This shit hard. They rap this shit fire. But. Niggas, it wasn't because nobody was really getting deals for real. Niggas wasn't getting no deal for real. Yeah, you're right. Niggas just doing this shit kind of. I 
he was rapping. Shit. Listen, bro. Every nigga in the lounge, APS. I'm going to say APS. Nah, I don't know about that, man. Every nigga in APS system do one or two things. Everybody jump. All right? Exactly. Everybody jump. All right? And everybody freestyle. Even if you can't freestyle for real. You know what I'm saying? My name is Lay. I don't play. Oh, oh. Everybody do that when you. Everybody did in the project did that shit. Yeah. It was so. It was. And then everybody performed. Everybody did. Everybody mumbled. You say, hey, Jill, come on down here. Got there. Come hit that Michael Jackson. Yeah, you're right, too. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You be down there doing the Michael Jackson, the MC Hammer, the Humpty Dance, the Tootsie Roll, the Butterfly. You be down there all night swing. That one never fun. That one never fun to be yourself, though. And it was cool to be you and have fun. Everybody switch it to you got to have all the money to have fun or doing the only one can have fun. Man, they switched all that shit up. Well, they, they ain't switch it up. They just had the, got the weak minds thinking that's how it go. You know what I'm saying? But it's still a whole, still a whole real, a real motherfucker know, man. This shit go how you want it to go. Nah, it do. It do. That why. That why. That why I got down. Shit. I used to be, I used to be dancing. So you having fun? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit used to be lit. Niggas wasn't dancing, though. Get away. When you, were da- when you were dancing, the whole crowd was dancing to him. Yeah, yeah. Nah, at first time. I used to be there and just be looking. I used to be geek though. I ain't gonna lie. So I didn't give a fuck. You had fun. It could have been me by myself in that bitch. I didn't give a fuck. I been that motherfucker come out my the great show to be wet as a bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I be sweating that motherfucker in that hood like this. Look, look crazy as hell. I just, I was just having fun. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that shit just became a thing. You know what I'm saying? And that thing, you know, shit, boy. Nigga dancing. And that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? So shit, like, so I, I, I kind of. I understand that shit, nigga. For party, have fun, nigga. You still be hard. You know how many times you nigga up after doing it with it, right with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit cool, bro. Like, you know what I mean? yeah. if you yeah, like the cool dance, you like the dance. Look at all the young niggas now who gangsters dance. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, I was about dance, dance. Yeah, I ain't talking about hit a two step. I was about these niggas be dancing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, you gotta be you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So boom. You do it. How did you end up linking up with Ken? Like, like you said, that's when you finally linked up with Ken. Yeah, we got down. Y'all got when, when we got the deal. Yeah, I always just be in the south anyway, though. Mm-hmm. Being the south, that cool, you know. Mario, recipe Mario. He's been the south, that chilling anyway. But I'm from Cleveland. Then went to school, all those together anyway. So it went from there. Anybody else have a studio over there? Uh, yeah, a couple people had studios over there. Um, Canard Block had a studio over there. Have a studio. Yeah, that's about then. That's about then. That's about nah, then. Think, you did look like money. Like, now, nah, Ken, I think Ken don't have the studio. That's what I'm studio. saying. I don't think nobody Ken else has the Then, yeah, Ken had, I don't have the studio then. Yeah, because I know, I, know, I know a few. Everybody started getting studio after that. When everybody started getting them deals, every street nigga like, boy, I'm going to make a label. Yeah, I'm going to get a label. Everybody started doing it. They give me an artist. Everybody. For, Set the shit. trend for a lot of shit, man. Nah, nah, for real. Nigga jumped, nigga jumped a lot of shit out. Now, I can remember, too. I remember goddamn when you used to be coming to the pool palace. Yeah, hey, I used yeah. to be saying, that nigga really came to the pool palace. You know, like back then, bro, a nigga used to be shocking fuck to see any nigga from any other hood, hood in way. your hood. Yeah, yeah. Like, you like, that nigga really came over that motherfucker, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga really in that motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas used to be round that bitch. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And because I remember then, like, I, I keep telling people, you on the south, Really, the only niggas from the south coming to the pool palace then. Trap Squad was really the only niggas from the east side coming to the pool palace for real then. Then Camerton Road, Bankhead, all that shit, all that shit the west side. But it was just them. But niggas really weren't coming to that motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then when it, then when everybody start from the pool palace start getting deals, then then niggas start coming. But by this time, it was it was that transition from the pool palace to the crucial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was that it was that transition because Pool Palace had left Bankhead, then Crucial opened up, then Pool Palace had came back to Bankhead, then niggas was going back and forth by by then shit. Crucial had that shit on lock. On lock. It, it, it was old with <laughs> it. Old I remember with. that. Yeah, damn it. Then, no, they, no then, they, then it was Crucial. And then Crucial was a whole new Crucial was the Crucial was the jump off of the of the, of the rap era. Yeah, yeah. Shout you know out to saying? Crucial too. Derek, man. Derek. I ain't like I ain't never seen the owner. Boy, Derek, boy, Derek, man, that nigga, that's a, that's a different man. man. That's a really, that's a really club bone in the city. Boy, boy, hey, man, that nigga, Derek, boy, 
Man. They're gonna keep it with let you everybody. Make, they'll make let you make your own prey, man. He'll make let you make your own prey. Uh, yeah. What you wanna give me? What you gonna what you what you want me? What you want me? Come get your bottle. Give you what I like. Damn, it, damn it, God damn, damn, all right. Even everybody. when you ain't even performing, I might come out there just kicking it. Get on a section, want some bottles. I like, yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't care who in their face. He ain't going to, little boy, you try to, he going to be sane, dearly, bro. That yeah. Crucial was and on lock. Do, and when you do a show at Crucial, he going to let you get the whole dough. Hey, you going to be. Derrick do some play ass shit, though. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. Now, I don't know how you fuck with other niggas, so if Derrick don't fuck with you like that, don't go to Derrick ask him about that shit. He going to turn your ass down. I know him. He going to be like, man, fuck hell, no. Nah. Doing no shit like that. That's what she did. I say to yeah, yeah, nah, I'm gonna turn that down for real. Nah, but if you fool Good dude, fuck though, it's fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. You fuck with a lot of niggas, though. A you lot know what of them. Nah, for real, for real. So, boom. Now you got the song. It's kicking off. Moving around. You got to deal with Universal. You say you're still in the hood. You're chilling in the hood. What I, what type of opportunity do you think you missed? Man, ain't no telling. What? God damn. What you think, bro? I, I was in Miami. Fucking with Cool and Dre. During that time, I ain't just stay. It's the only time to go. I go in. You know how niggas be like, I'm just stay two more days. Fuck with them. They fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, these folk really was showing me. Oh, excited that I'm up there. Like, what? I did the one eye open. I'm there. I might go to LA and meet some people. That might be like, man, you need to. It's like, if I would have started moving more, like on the outskirts, like being where I needed to be more, like miss, instead of missing certain events, like I might don't go to award, awards or something. Just. You know what I mean? I, I could have, should have just went to the war. Mike, no telling who hand I would have shook at the war. Mm -hmm. I ain't shit. I wasn't gonna shake nobody hand been on the block that I ain't already shook. You know what I'm saying? Like that's gonna benefit the situation. Like I'm missing so many bit, just chilling, just like man, they ain't for me. I ain't. I wasn't invited. But you know how many times you go and you turn out to be the invite when you get there. Like oh shit, Jug. Yeah, yeah. It's like sometimes out of sight, out of mind, and I was out of sight doing shit that I won't want that I wasn't supposed to be doing versus. Doing some shit that I could have been doing, being who I was, bro. I could have made opportunity, being who we were, like back then, like even. But it went so many, like the social media went like it was. So, like you said, we ain't had a guide and really to be like, bro, you need to do this or do that. It really was like my own choice. I'm doing my own. Like it went really a whole bunch of outlets to to put your market in the promo like that. We really were word word of mouth, yeah. really. really, and really. you know, if folk like your shit for real, right now. Folk like what they see. They are like Jay Call. You put some money up, boy. Shout to have him. Like, it just. Yes, shout yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fucking with our need, bro. Yeah, yeah, shout out. Shout them nigga. They high. It's it different. We went. It, we we didn't do that. Yeah, but you know. I see no high. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Fuck your ass up, boy. I tell you, you can't believe that no more, man. I swear, this shit the real Matrix. Yeah, it don't this switch shit, up. This shit the real Matrix, man. But see, then you got to think about this, too. And, and this beside the deal with, you know, the, with the universal shit. Well, you really don't did all this shit independently, bro. Yeah. Like, that's the, that's the, like, the biggest thing you really did all this shit independently. And I remember for a second, you had had a split with Moneymaker. You were like, well, I'm just going to do my judge shit. Yeah. Jug man shit. What was, what, why you, was you trying to kind of step into, you know, I just want to do my own shit one time? Nah, it was like, I was like, yeah, that too. It like, I want to, it like, I want to do show like what I know like what I don't learn because sometimes you know people don't know they be blinded bro to don't know the growth that I don't I really don't did in the industry they don't really know like the level Ken don't really know so he didn't know you like like oh he's still him but you like no nah, no 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 I'm I'm, I, 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 got, I, got, I got to show you like look do what I'm doing this I'm, I'm him like I'm him I can like they love me like and you know sometimes bro like because you know by me being in the hood that's the only thing people see me. They might, when they go see him, that's all I just seen, Joe. But they ain't see when I just left Palais or I just left this part because I just left this show. I just left. They ain't see that. They only see what they see. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to just go show. I got elevation. People, it's, it's, it's bigger now. Like, I wanted to show, like, I'm, I'm Joe. Like, I'm really a worldwide name. I got worldwide relationships. I got relationships people can't get. I got relationship money can't buy. And, he realized that though, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I had to do that for, for myself. Like, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? And I want more for my family. I want more for people around me. Shit, I even did, cause I want more for him. I'm just that type of dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My little brother, them ain't never really enjoyed this music shit. I ain't never catch the rap chick yak in this shit. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't never enjoyed it. So I said I had to goddamn go out here and like learn a little more. I had to get out my shit. I had to find myself mentally, you know what I'm saying? Like, and get myself right for my family and my people before I even can do music, bro. Like, the music had bothered me a little bit. I had to get away from that shit because it was like, this is what I love to do. I'm doing it. But it's like I'm just doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing it. Like, now I'm doing it. And every time you look up now for social media and everything being so big, everybody seeing new cars on bowls on birthday. They seeing this. They seeing that. Not that I'm competing. I don't care about what nobody get. But all the work I put in, goddamn, like, my daughter's like, what well, daddy? You be with Quay, man. Oh, daddy, you be with. Daddy, you be with. Oh, daddy, you on that song. That. How they get this every goddamn? Why they? And folks starting to know, what, what the hell you doing with your man? I know it. I ain't get that. I made all this happen. This big air house right here, I had to work hard for this shit. I ain't, ain't just come like Dale came. Dale just looked like that. Yeah. Dale's were handy. Daddy had to go out here and get it. Make some shape. Make it shape. I did a, I had to do a lot of stuff to do. And I still man. have to do a lot of stuff to, to keep this. Even all that. You know what I'm saying? So they don't really know. They ain't get to enjoy it. They just know who their dad is. And every time we out, people stop their daddy for a picture. Daddy can't eat. Daddy can't even eat in peace. Like, literally. And they don't got bigger now. Like, yeah, out of town, in town, even myself, that shit started bothering me. Like, man, hold on. I can't run away from what I love. God ain't letting me. It's like, I'm, you you fucked it up. Not saying nobody fucked it up. I can't say, baby, you, my entourage. I can say it all played a little part of it. But I fucked it up by allowing so much. I've been grown. I moved out my mama's house. The day after I graduated, so I knew right from wrong. I knew when shit wasn't going right. I allowed this to keep going wrong. So I can't get this shit right overnight. So at the end of the day, he gonna show me though, like, and I ain't finna just give you nothing. You finna learn this shit yourself. You gonna learn this paperwork, that's a document. When you, you do this, you do that. So now I be even get frustrated now by doing it. And you sometimes I be pushed to have to do what I be saying, you know what? I'm just gonna pay somebody to do this. Even if I know I don't wanna spend the money to do it. It's some kind of way to fly back in the circle where I got to do it, even if I had to do it just to learn it. And I'd be like, you know what? I got to start running from shit and running from shit. And that what happened, bro. And shit end up kind of coming full circle for me. Like, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, you know, I remember we got down. Yeah, I got down. Pulled up to the studio over there with you. Number three. I was like, bro, we had a day about, we had a day about three, four songs. Fancy shit. I was like, nigga, you mind what you got there to do with me, take Yeah, yeah. Fuck this Let's shit. Dog. My well. Remember that. The motherfucker underdog. We was in that motherfucker every goddamn day. Hard, too. Every day, goddamn. We probably caught about 30 goddamn songs in that motherfucker. Killed. We had Lonnie J on there, too. Lonnie J. This is this before the nigga even knew no, the fuck shot. No, the, the nigga ain't even. We, 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 I told we believe in him then. I was saying, but whoever this nigga, this nigga, this, this young nigga, hard. Nah, fuck. fuck yo, yeah, yeah, back then. Nigga hard. Well, yeah, come do some, hey, I, need, I got some shit I need you to come do for me too. This, so this nigga finna be gone. Now, a lot of talent, you don't got a chance to see a lot of talent. Pee Wee, you know what I'm saying? You don't got a chance to see a, 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 a lot of talent from niggas that I know that you used to see around you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, like, if you think right now, like right now, the three really been rocking, bro. Yeah, yeah. For real, for real. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got gonna lie, thug, salute them, boy. I'm, I'm proud of them, nigga. Came, got them thug been rocking 10 plus. Yeah, I'm proud of them niggas. See what I'm saying? Damn, y'all niggas got the longest See, that damn a, that, in the city. See, that's the difference between. Think about this shit. That's, Hold the up. That's, that's, the, that's the thing, bro. If that shit <laughs> were all the all together, it is together. But if everybody just were like unity, man, that shit would be man. Because everybody, it is lit over there, bro. And I be proud of everybody, bro. And that's why I fuck with everybody, like, in their own way. You know what I'm saying? I support everybody in their own way. Like, whatever everybody got going on, I don't, ain't got shit to do with jug. I be. I support everybody in their own way, proud of everybody. You know what I'm saying? How the hell you get how the hell you get Jew, man? How the hell you added it to your name? Man, bro, I was uh fucking with Fathead. Fathead you know, back then. We used to be goddamn had the house over there in the hill over there on the hill, Uncle Tulu house. And he had the circle driveway. I don't know, you came over there probably. Man, I used to be in that motherfucker, man. I miss I'd be late for a show, boy, to try to get the rest of them bags out, boy. I was supposed to come from here and there. I be, I be like, but shit, I'm just, I'm doing it. Then it started doing it like on a verse. I started like, like shit, nigga just called me for 12, huh? Shit, I'm going to do that. I'm going to write this shit now. Send me the beat. Damn, they called me five, huh? 
shit, if I can do this shit, nigga, like, boy, shit. It's a good way. Then I was like, shit, cause I don't want, then I started looking at I don't want nigga to think this taking shit for somebody. I'm, it just did. Now I'm like, nah, shit, I'm jig. I just start calling everything you do. You got a car, boy. I just do it before. What before they me get it, no damn payment. Shit like that, you know what I mean? And that was the, that was the, that was the slang for a little bit for real. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, like you know what, what, I, I, what I, nigga I, call that shit now? What new word for jugging? Now, these niggas just finessing, <laughs> huh? <laughs> these niggas ain't doing no jugging. These niggas finessing, huh? <laughs> yeah, they yeah they 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 taking it from you. <laughs> these niggas tricking shit out there, goddamn right now, man. What would you say is your your highlight moment of your career? Like? This right here is where I really like that. This moment right here really made me be like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, yeah, dog, I'm glad of everything I done been through. I'm, I'm looking at this journey. Like, if you, if a motherfucker say, but tell me one story, give me one story, give me a story, goddamn, and some shit that done happened to you in the industry that you just like, but this, but I'm, I'm, in, I'm in some different shit now. I'm, I'm really ain't in that hood shit no more, for real. Man, I had my birthday party at LaCour. And bird man pulled bird and the motherfucker was so packed nobody else couldn't even get in he sent 60 folks around at the side though turned folks around in at the goddamn front door i'm talking about i ain't never but the motherfucker i was shocked like i'm talking about i'm shocked bro i'm talking about bird pull up in the tour boy the boo got it i'll let the core for me my i'm like damn ain't about it. I, I ain't I'm, I'm, I'm down there looking on the thing dog in the bit tonight so dog with bird doing dog before the night yeah, nah, this for you. Come pull up on you, nephew. Snono tell I'm pull up on you, nephew. And Snono, I ain't gonna lie, Snono, you show a nigga a lot of love, bro. When I be around Snono, Snono was a real, real nigga. That's why I said I can't never take what nigga say by Snono called for. He was around me. Snono was a real nigga, bro. Cool as hell. I always, what's up, nephew? You good? Like, real, for real. So, shit. I seen him coming out when he came in the club. Cause at first, he wasn't even gonna lie. He was like, nobody can't get in. Not even them. He was like, nobody. The only reason they, only way he way, only reason they allowed him to get in because it went nowhere to sit. Good game, auntie. When it moved everybody out her section and got them, let them come in. They got in her section and everybody had to squeeze in like the other section. And Bird no was able to come in like do it like that. But when I went in out, man, I rocked them off of birds and them motherfuckers watching, seeing folks because you know he probably he know who I am, but he probably it's know me from just when well, you know me from the armor ride. What yeah. we done? You don't know the like probably know. How the history was yeah, like yeah. when he heard the look like money going crazy, the jig around the city, they coming oh, back to back. Shit. He like, your nephew rocked. And they were like, one of them moments I'm looking over to the right and saying, God damn, little bird, all these folks now in, in the core. For in me, the core. And then they, the whole thing, they ain't them motherfuckers for me. I'm like, damn, yeah, they motherfuckers did, boy. Oh. I, don't, I don't did. I, the guy, damn, I thought yeah. this shit was over. No, this shit no, it, no. this shit it. Now I was like, yeah, I'm back on the air, but I got <laughs> started this bit. Then I, I was like, yeah, and it was like that. Yeah, I remember the first time I did on the ride, he wasn't even on the record, bro. True. Hell no, nah, it was me and Jeff Thug on now. I was in there the next day listening to the record. I got down, listened to my bird, got down. It was a chest just like this. I rep, got down. Look up. That nigga standing right there. I was like, God damn, like shot like damn, that, that nigga stone him. Ain't never them diamonds shining off his teeth. I was like, Hey, that nigga from TV, man. I've been seeing all my guys. I said, fuck that. I got up. Like, Boy, I got to shake your hand, OG. Let that shit roll. Like, so, nephew, you got that. You know how he be. You know, don't even smile. Doubt them up. That thing, you know, I heard that nigga got down flat. Came on that black. I said, oh, burn it on that bitch, too. Oh, yeah, it's over with. Stone on that bitch with me. I got stone in. I was like, yeah, this shit it. Shot the video for that bitch and everything. I was like, damn. So, shit, that, that shit was one of them highlights. Like, yeah, I don't, damn. Like, it was like a big moment, like. Nah, they nah, one of the shit. biggest mogul in the game. Like I'm, he on, he put his arm on my yeah. shoulder in the video. They burn me. It is stunner on my shoulder. Yeah. It's stunner. on me and all the shoulder now. Hey, you talking about? I know it, it can is. be though. Yeah, hey, it, ain't, you know. it is. Nigga, we yeah. around shit like yeah, that. Yeah, then I was looking at that. Hey, so man. it, it, it wasn't no highlight for real yeah, though. For real. And then with my boy, I ain't gonna lie, my boy Fetty. My boy Fetty was the biggest nigga in the game. Like the biggest nigga in the game. Yeah, when, when I met him, when I when Fetty met me, he was like, bro. I was like, boy, they about walk. He like, boy, I'm proud to be around you, bro. He was like, boy, I can't believe I'm around you. I'm like, huh? Man, he the, hell, he the reason I got a passport. Get my first passport, sent me to DR. I did a big feature over there with the, one of the bigger dudes over there, Shalo Shack. I mean, like, Chowder Kane did 13 songs with Mouth of Scrum when he was a big out kept saying, I ain't even asked him to do the record. He was like, well, you going to leave that verse with me, bro? I was like, shit, I ain't want to buy Hey, bro, I want to get on it. Get on that one, the next one. I just stopped asking, like, hey, bro, it's open here. I got a whole album with them right now. I ain't even know put out now. Some two on the act the fool and the uh, 
rent on uh, rent up them racks, but all the records ain't they timeless songs. It ain't if you hear them now, you won't think they came out. I, I made them, and so I said, I finna get rid. I, I ain't got no even reason to hold on this shit. I finna get rid of let the everything out. One of them old, old, old folks like yeah. broke the wagon. That, and that, that was that's another highlight too. And I was like, damn, Fetty Wap, the biggest dude in the game. He was like, he want to be around me, so he let me know that. Oh, even if the people that's blind to what's real. And what I done done, it's some people that really see. So I start like loosening up. Like, you know what? I worry about the wrong things. And start, I mean, focusing on the bigger picture. And I start doing that. Well, I, when I seen this shit with Birdman, I was like, but he gone. He gone to Rich Gang. I, I just knew you was going to have a situation after then. Why Why no situation Why didn't your situation came in the curry after then? Because you was on your regular rap shit. You're supposed to push the no, line. No, no. You should push the line. I don't even know, to be honest. Like, I can't say hey, that. I ain't, I ain't, I, 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 I didn't hey, push the issue. This motherfucker done. I ain't put, I ain't pushed it. <laughs> I don't think I, like, I just, I be wondering that though, to be honest. I still wonder that. Like, I don't, and I was on the hardest song on that shit. And I know Bird told me plenty of times, I'm bringing a bag off you, nephew. Fuck with you, nephew. Bird fuck with him. I don't know. I don't know what, but at the end of the day, I, I'm just glad they ain't fuck with whatever happened. You, been, had, you just being robbed. I was being yeah, humble. Are, yeah, I ain't yeah, pressed the yeah, issue, bro. Boy, I, I ain't want to step on no. But you, oh, you like, huh? But you got money. Why well, ain't kind of count your pocket? But nigga, you got enough from him, me, him, him, him. You can put everybody on. But you yeah. know what? Hey, are you going to put the bag out? Boy, get what? I got 12 on right. I got 20 on pick 10, boy. <laughs> I would have pushed the line. I pick 10 on. Oh, you don't like them? So we'll do some more. Yeah, no, I ain't no, I ain't no press the issue. Now we did more than more than that song though. I got a couple more songs though. I say I ain't pressed the issue like how I post to press it, but I fought with Stoner like he still fought, I, he fought with me too. So at the end of the day, I feel like if anything that come out of the relationship came out of, you know what I'm saying? No, that be that, feel, that be I really feel thing. if I reach out to him on some, I feel like shit. If anything, I get some advice or something from him because when I was around him, bro, he showed a nigga real love though. You know what I'm saying? Real for real. Yeah, Shot me though, like shocked me. Nah, don't shock you, man. You get what you deserve, dog. You know you what I'm saying? You got a good heart. You keep doing shit, man. God got a way of putting you in the path for some shit. Like you say, shit, I don't be want to do that shit. Try to pay somebody, shit, come right back. He do the same. He do the same thing all kind of in all kind of situations. All the same way, too. I done been around a lot of niggas. I don't ask niggas for shit. I ain't never asked no rap nigga, nobody for nothing. I ain't got to give me a feature, give me a verse. I don't judge. I don't fuck. Hey, bro, you want to do it, you going to do it. That's how yeah. I feel. You know what I'm saying? But I think that hindered me too. Now, hey boy, get your ass up here, boy. I need your own podcast. I ain't hey gonna boy, lie. get your ass up here, boy. I need your ass on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Lie. Like all my big features that I got, I ain't never called niggas and F on me. They all call me and F on. Like that's why I, I feel like real. right. That I feel like now I got favored and I, I be like, that's why I feel like not going big. I'm just doing what I'm just going to the class I pulled up in. There. Like, you know what I mean? I remember I did shit with Chain when he hit me. I pulled up on Chain. I remember going. Ross, I chilling with Ross when we did the look like money goddamn remit. Didn't even push it like the business, the business uh decision that I had made and that we made back then. It kind of like damn, nigga don't had we don't had I don't had that heat like I still got it like, and then it's like I ain't get rushed or nothing like I can start getting better and that would let me know like you know what, like you said come back full circle like full circle. So now I'm moving different. I'm running this shit different. This shit gonna go. Damn, but up, cause that's the only thing it can do. You know what I'm saying? No, you been hard. And one, that one thing I can say, when Ralph on the nigga song, you are you can, you can already count that verse. You know, how sometimes you hear a nigga song, you be like, damn, I want to have this nigga. Uh, I'm see. One thing about it, but you always count on Ralph verse. I'm, I'm telling you, appreciate it. Bye. I'm, I'm telling you that as a as a person who listen to music. You know what I'm saying? Like you can always you can always count on Ralph verse. You know what I'm saying? You in the trap museum? I got a couple of CDs now, but Tilt need to go on to put me in though. Man, what? He got to put a little like money in that bitch. Yeah, you got to put me song in. Song like that, who got hey, that? Hey, Tilt. That tilt, shit set the tilt, shit out. There ain't no more songs like tilt, that. Tilt, bro. Tilt, Tilt. You looking at in the apartments. If you look at in the apartments this episode, man, I need to be in that truck music. And I done came down. I done went up plenty of time showing my boy some love. Like too. money. What the Doja Gabbana? I fuck with Tilt. Yeah, you got to put me in that Tilt. You got to put that look like money now. Everybody back then, it wasn't Gucci. It wasn't. They got to have Doja Gabbana. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, those like a bonus. You with those? You know what yeah. For real then now. Then niggas start getting on, get all the kind of big DGs on the yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, the big DG, the smile. Yeah, yes, yes, that everybody mean. They start getting motherfucker with the little diamonds on the side. Yeah, I had them too. Niggas stole them about two, three times. The, then I had the one yeah. that you pull the lenses out the motherfucker. The those eight with the pull the whole lens out with the diamonds on. Fathead put me on them though. Boy, Fathead put me on them. Hey, Fathead used to have every pair of them those Gabbana, boy. 
Yeah, they yeah, yeah. repel them motherfuckers. Nah, for real. What was your first aha moment in the industry? Like, well, not in the industry, but like your first moment where you was like, yeah, like, okay, I'm in pocket. Like, okay, hell yeah, time for me to push the gas, for real, for real. What time, what time we put the gas? Let me see. I was doing, I said. Cause you know, I know oh. I would be doing something. Then it'd be like, you see shit, here's some shit. You'd be like, fuck that, boy. I'm, 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 finna, I'm, I'm finna do this shit for real now. Back when goddamn Gucci put me on bricks. A brick was hard as fuck. Put me on brick with God. And when I seen everybody at that video, like, and how everybody was like, what you need that nigga? And I got all that jewelry on. Like, oh, shit. I said, it's over. It's it. I'm it's it. Now. It's over with. Got it. Gucci on this bitch. I got Throw it. But you got some classic ass motherfucking song, dog. I ain't bullshit, dog. Uh, I was about some, some for real, some classic ass motherfucking. I was talking some song where not just here. Like, I don't give a fuck where you at. Like, when them motherfuckers come on, but you gonna sing that bitch. I guarantee you some niggas will be saying your shit, probably don't even know what you look like, but be saying that shit word for motherfucking word. Yeah, you know I know, saying? yeah. I don't miss these, people like these that. These classic trap. I was about, and it's all, and the reason I asked about the trap music and shit, because all this shit fucking trap music. Yeah. Straight trap music. You know what I'm saying? Straight motherfucking trap music, man. And niggas don't, niggas ain't, and it be a lot, like I said, it's a lot of niggas and shit, man, but I these niggas really don't be doing what they be talking about. Nah. You know what I'm saying? It be, it be shit they need to be around. Then they, when they need to get the money, then they start doing this shit. I don't understand that either. You, you, you do all this shit to get the sack. And now you want to get the sack. And now you want to send off a bag. Yeah. Nobody the motherfucker got fucked up. That's that's to try to catch up with. I ain't the, got all the money. Some of that be trying to catch up with the image they portray. That's when, what it be. Yeah, they try to catch up to make people think I'm really doing it. I be thinking some of these, some niggas actually be want to get locked up. Like, just to prove that, boy, I go to jail. Like, now, some people, you know, niggas do shit that shouldn't even be doing shit, period, man. You know what I'm saying? But. They, they, I mean, they, they don't, they don't understand, shit. bro. This shit all the all the gang, this shit all the set up. They already be hang we having this paper anyway. They already hang we run the entertainment business anyway. They already they, we already the police already hate a nigga anyway down there. Shit. They be making it worse when they do that nigga get the money, bro. Sometimes shit, you get the money, just buy shit and make more money than the trap anyway. You can just that's why I say I made a mistake. When I when I get that bad like how I want it, I'm gonna invest that shit in some of every goddamn thing. Nigga, I don't be, I don't be, I, I don't know. I don't know how the fuck these niggas be thinking, what the fuck these niggas be thinking. Yeah, they be getting the bad, I be looking at them like, boy, damn. They, Fame the new drug. Fame is the biggest saying, drug yeah, going hell on in yeah. the world right now. Hell Fame. yeah. Fame and attention. I'm going to fall off this motherfucking building, nigga, for some likes. Nigga, trying to go viral. Yeah. What? Fame and attention. But you got all these guns on this bitch, bro? And you on probation? And you on that motherfucker with the gun? Like, do these niggas know what it is? And you're 32? But well, you're 32 years old, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I keep telling all these niggas, if you want, listen, free game. Tell them gangsters out there, my young niggas. All right? You want to keep your image. All right? Now, you get this game. If you're a rapper now, regardless even if you're rapping about what you're living or not, you are now an entertainer. Because everybody, as soon as somebody see you on the screen, that's for their entertainment. They don't know you. They don't know how many niggas you beat up, shot. Goddamn, you've been trapping since your grandma. They don't know none of this shit. They don't care. They just care how you feed them. So now you're an entertainer. All right? So if you're going to be on them motherfucker with your guns and shit, and you know Fed be watching, they come pick your ass up for that shit, just go invest into some movie guns. They look real. They got blanks. You got to get some real guns. You can shoot them and all that shit. And the people who you entertaining, they won't know the difference. They ain't the fed. Them niggas can't freeze your shit up and pull up the serial number and shit. You know what I'm saying? They got the gloss. They got all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Save yourself some trouble and some time, dog. Invest into your crowd, dog, and entertain. Fuck all that shit. Being a street nigga and all that shit right there. Right shit. And folk using that shit against you. They using your lyrics against you. They losing your videos against you. They using the shit that everybody around you doing. They using that against you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas gotta be smart out here, dog. Protect their bag for generation to come. Cause if we lose it, they ain't getting it back. Hell no. They ain't gonna let us get it back, boy. No, we, we, if that we was, lose it. That's why I said, I'm getting in while we got it. You feel me? And we, we better goddamn get the fuck in, dog. Got some new music coming out. 
Oh yeah, hell yeah. I got the jail fell too, the Jeff fan. I killed everybody's shit. We were rapping over everybody's shit. Got that. Got the jewel, big jewel, the rebirth. I got the Northern B album. I told you I got the Fed album too. I got the No Kids with Dro too. And I got the uh the thing that's out on the radio now, little bankhead and everybody playing the uh playing with the money, feature OG Mall. That motherfucker more going crazy too on the radio. You put all these songs on on on, on, on the on the tape. Yeah, actually, that that's that's that song on the tape. Actually, on the that's on the big jewel, the rebirth. They're all playing with the money. You gonna drop the Fiddle Walk tape? I don't know. Everybody been waiting on the Fiddle Walk tape. I I I, I, I asked Fed about a couple months ago. I called him. I actually called him down there when I was at court with Ken. I called him. And I asked him. I was like, man, we want to shoot the video. He said, anything you want to do, bro. I said, we we'll shoot this bitch in Vegas somewhere. He told my bro, I'm ready. Whatever I got to do for the song or whenever you ready. It was me. He holding back. He been saying that since then though. Like at the full video, he came with no problem. Shot that motherfucker like with who I wanted to shoot it with, all that. So I was you like, got a target. You say, did I? I know you got a target. No. You got fans, right? Yeah. You got a platform, right? Yeah. So you got something to shoot at, right? Yeah. Bullets at the clip. Yeah. What the fuck you ain't know? Right. I got a lot of I got a lot of them motherfuckers to shoot. You can't shoot all of them at the same time. You're right. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You drop five projects today, five, the same day. But they ain't got, bro. Yeah, I, let me tell you this, and I know, and I don't know, but I'm just gonna guess, cause I know we come from the same time, so I know sometimes we share the same mental. Cause my homie do this, your mind be thinking old school. I drop this shit, want this shit two or three months. I go to this club, I got this, I got holler at this DJ, I got this other shit. On the internet, <laughs> that's it. Internet, bro. It ain't all that forward thinking, all that super duper planning. I, I got a plan. It's shit like going on a trip. You go on more trips, shit spontaneous, and then you book. Nigga, don't just be like, okay, hell yeah, I got down a three month, got down, and got down August the 8th, we got down, finna got down, go to Houston. Hell no, nah, niggas just be like, everybody ain't wanna go to Houston that weekend. Hell yeah, bro, let go. You know what I'm saying? The music the same way now, because niggas' intentions pass short. Niggas ain't following you that much. Niggas might be on your page two weeks in a row, every day. Then somebody else catches eye. Now he on this nigga page for two weeks in a row. Then he see a feature with this nigga, now he on this nigga page. Now he see Jug Man shit come, he like it, but that's how niggas do it. Niggas' intentions pass short. That's why niggas be wondering why niggas' number fluctuate and go up and down. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be want shit. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't give a nigga what he want, they don't mean fuck with you. He's just gonna go. He gonna go look somewhere else. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, That's why niggas gotta stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say drop that shit. Yeah, I got all that shit too. All that shit. Shit, fuck that shit. Ain't get all that money. Ain't making no oh, money. Oh, I finna get it. Let that motherfucker sit on iTunes. <laughs> yeah. He sound gonna go right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't click on that motherfucker. You don't think nigga pull up fair walk? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They get what gonna pop up when they see that motherfucker. He's the newest shit he got on that motherfucker. Fit it Robin Jude, man. <laughs> he ain't been putting shit out like that either. I need to put that shit out for my boy because he don't be stunning. He rich as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm stunning. For real. I'm telling you. Better, hey. And I got some, we got some banger though. We got some shit, dude. Push the line. Fuck that shit. Push the line. You know what I'm saying? I'm low hey, enough. Drop that shit, man. I'm low enough. Get this on. Hey, do what, them, do what these niggas be doing when they be having the labels and the management who be on, on their ass. ass. And, and they be like, I can't do nothing. They give it to their partner. Let their partner leak that motherfucker. Break the leak. <laughs> yeah. Put that motherfucker leak it. Oh, wait, boy. How the hell y'all get one right. album? Yeah. Because y'all bullshit. Y'all want to drop that shit. Be like, in the uh, real quick. Don't cry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Get the CD. Get the goddamn. Get the email. Get, download the shit. Drop that motherfucker, dog. Make a, send a nigga. Make a, tell a nigga. Make a cover. You put on right. You put on Instagram right now. I need a cover for me and Fetty Wap album, right now. I need three in three days. I'm gonna drop it in three days. I need a cover, but you have a cover. You have about twenty of them bitches picked from. Yeah, I already know. Man, man, you that shit, bro. It's social media. Fuck that, man. Listen, round man. Man, fuck all that, bro. All that humble shit. Fuck all that shit. Nigga, got them. Nigga, be humble when the camera's off and the niggas got your face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, I learned yeah. from the financials. I don't see any nigga with that coming in the room. But goddamn, but hell yeah, goddamn, woo, woo. nigga be like, what shot got goddamn? I don't seen it. And I be like, man, this nigga, you know why, lady, you ain't doing that. 
Well, you better do that shit. You want some money coming around now? What going on, y'all? Everybody, out here, everybody, what's going on? I swoop. Tell you, boy, fuck that shit. I don't learn. But you better learn too. I like, gonna keep gonna keep, boy. You better get out and fuck that shit, bro. Yeah. Entertain, no, bro. Man. Entertain. The street shit over with. Oh no, nah, that shit over with. The street shit is done. If you ain't rapping about no shit, you unbend the head. Got down long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I got down the street shit done. You better be an entertainer. So if you hear me talking about the street shit now, I'm just an entertainer, y'all. That's <laughs> it. I'm just, I'm just entertainer. Oh, you're right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck all that shit. I think all that shit better call all them features. You better do a new, do a new album. Call all them niggas. Call Cool and Dre. Call all them niggas. Niggas, I'm doing the new shit. Fuck that shit, bro. I ain't get one shot, dog. Hold yeah, yeah. up, man. Tell you, man, fuck that shit. Tell you, man, what this year? Drop, drop, drop a goddamn EP every month, 10 songs every month. I got the rest it. of this year. Go crazy. And next year, you'll be back pipe. Easy. And you think about it now, you probably like, well, I got this, I got this already. 10 songs a month. The first of the month, I'm dropping some shit. You gonna wait on for you? Then I'm seeing computer. And then until the same year come, you be like, that shit old oh, hell, bro. I don't put that shit. That shit outdated, bro. Damn, that nigga, he got that beat already, too, already. So don't give a fuck. If the same nigga got the same beat, so what? Drop your shit. Yeah. You got that motherfucker on YouTube? Fuck it. Drop that motherfucker. <laughs> you don't know who made the beat? <laughs> fuck it. Drop that motherfucker. <laughs> I catch your back here, bud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> but hit me at it. That Instagram, ain't that okay, dog? That raw thing. No, it's huh? That's my man thing, raw thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shit, bro. Hey, man. What? These niggas doing it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Hit the button, Ty. Hit the button. You know what I'm saying? That's what these niggas doing, man. Hey, man. Um. Anything you want to say? Anything you want to tell the people? Anything we man, talk anybody about been them? supporting me, man? Lay you and everybody that been supporting me. No, I appreciate y'all, man. And I am finna drop new music. Might be you might just gave me my new date, Lay. I might drop on the first, man. I might drop load up on the first. I might do. That's a good idea. Ten songs every first. That's hard. Uh, yeah. I ain't got to worry about what date I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop on the first. Right. Drop on the first every month. I got it. I got it, no. I'm going to do that because you right, too. My fan be Wayne, bro. They be, they love, they be, they they, they Wayne. I just got to stay consistent for them. Bro, listen. What, what month this is? Whatever. Right. We got about six, seven. We got about six, seven months. Let's just say six months. Even though, let's just say six months, okay. It's 60 songs. Nigga, if you hit one, you gone. <laughs> you don't know what these niggas going to like. Well, you don't know what nigga gonna like. But nigga be like, but I like this shit. But you know how much shit about a nigga be like, if I like that shit, I be like, bro, I just did this shit because I was just fucking around in the studio on the beat, just come on, I just did it. I don't really like it for real. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, and nigga might like anything. Ain't no telling what might take our bro. Tell nah, you, man. Nah, 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 you right. Fuck that shit. And if these 60 don't work this year, you got 120 for next year. <laughs> yeah. If you catch one, you won. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm saying, laughs> no, that's playing. <laughs> you feel me? No, that's good. <laughs> Fuck that shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You look at that way, we already won then. Yeah. No one of them motherfuckers gonna catch. That's it, right. bro. You know what I'm saying? They gave me the formula. My but, but you know how you know how many songs these niggas got? These songs be old as hell, bro. Like um, like Money Moves on here. That hint song? They said something like four years old. Five years old, literally. He said he just kept performing every time he go. He just kept performing, just kept doing the song, and then motherfuckers start hitting. Yeah, hitting. You know what I'm saying? Move that my boy too. Move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like you said, music don't get outdated. And drop that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? We should drop all that shit, shit, all that old shit. Cause I, I was looking on iTunes, I was looking at your music and shit. They got your your popping shit, but they don't got all your old mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Your Swamp Izzo screen mix tapes. They ain't got none of them motherfuckers on iTunes. And we drop all that shit. Yeah, that shit need to be up there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah, be asking yeah. for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit outdated, bro. Different time. But niggas is, I'm, I be going to niggas' spots and trap houses in the city and shit, bro. I hear more, oh, I hear more music from then than I really do now. You go to the club right now, it's the same way when we used to go to the club when they, they gonna play them old school songs, pipe that bitch up. Mm -hmm. But now, if you wanna get the club lit, 
Bro, niggas gonna start playing all them old songs. Yeah. They, Look right. like money, laughing taffy. Oh, I think they like me. Like niggas going swag surfing. Like niggas go that music get played just as much in, in the club, just as much in the other music. Every DJ got them songs in their sex. Especially no, in Atlanta. Right. Well, I can speak for right. them well. No, Especially right. in Atlanta. No, you right. You see what I'm saying? Like, shit, fuck that. You got down. All their music right now don't sound like nothing but our era, bro. Drill music ain't nothing but gangster snap music. Yeah. Tell me I'm lying. No. I can no. name a million songs from back then that sound just like what they call drill music right now. You know what I'm saying? All this, all this all sound right now. Everything on TikTok. Our sound. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I've been, yeah, I say that too. You see what I'm saying? So all we got to do is just tap back in the bag. Don't run yeah. from it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, me, I'm gonna make me a new dance up. Go straight to TikTok on that ass, boy. I don't even gotta do a song no more. I just do a hook. That motherfucker hit on TikTok, motherfucker gonna finish it. But shit too easy now. Yeah. <laughs> that shit too, this shit yeah. easy, bro. That's a fool. TikTok don't have 20 seconds. But how, look how many songs don't got popping off the first 10, 15 seconds. The beat don't even drop yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta use this shit, bro. We be running from it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, I ain't doing that old shit. They that old shit, right? Nah, bro, they got that. I mean, it's a new time. They doing this, that, fuck that shit. Tap back into that shit, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> right. I'm on it, though. Like, I ain't yeah. lying. That's what I'm looking at. I'm on it. Nah, for real. I've been on it. I just think I, 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 I'm on it now. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck that shit. Freestyles, all that shit, dude. Freestyles are all the old songs. That might be hard right there. Right on too, <laughs> I got already ready to cover and all. I already I don't deal. Change, I, I just ain't put them out. <laughs> man, ten dates. Shout out to Shot. Get out of the shots. shots. Shoot them. Shoot them. Tell everybody where they can follow you on. Man, at Jug Man N T that J W G M A N E N T. Yeah. What about your it's YouTube? Me. Um, I'm on YouTube with it. Jug Man T V. Good man, TV. That's yeah, I've been start putting a lot of shit on that car. They took. I got two channels. I got the Young Ralph, and I got the Jewel Man TV. Hey man, pitch man. I told you, man. I need my. All right, pitch. And my man, no, bro. I need my cold man. Yeah, man. Bring that cold up, bro. My cold pitch. Fuck with you, know. Yeah, man. Bullets yeah, but that, that one got that one got the follow. But the Jewel Man TV. That's my pay. Both on the Young Ralph and the Jewel Man TV. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying. You got a TikTok. You got a TikTok too. Big Jewel. Man, I did one on one. I did one TikTok. I got a couple on one. Them motherfuckers did like 30,000 30, views with mature, and I stopped to punch it on them. I don't know why. I just, I ain't, I ain't got no habit of doing it, bro. And I'm the stupidest nigga in the world, bro. I do the stupidest. Listen, I, I do every, the stupidest stuff every day. Every nigga from the city who come on here, I ask him that, right? Because I'm trying to get down. I want you to tell me something. Hey, y'all be doing this. And I swear I can try to pull from it because I be wanting to do it. Me too. I just be like, I don't, know how, I don't know how to get into that. But then my dog. My dog, he the TikTok king. See, they be yeah. See, you know he, look, he look like he be killing. Yo, right? this nigga, yo, this nigga the TikTok king. I just, I, I do it. I get to send them. I'm looking too much. I'm trying to put too much shit on it. I'm trying to scroll through the field too much. Real, I'm gonna hide over there. Now I'm like, I'm gonna come back to this shit, bro. Fuck this. The high beat on the like, bro. I, I go back to it. I don't want to do that shit no more. I got a couple songs I be want to do reels too and shit like that. Just to put, I don't be knowing. I don't be hip to it like how it's supposed to be. My girl, my girl be hooked to that shit, man, but I don't be knowing how to do that. I, I told you I just started replying right, man, to people on Instagram, bro. I ain't never know I used to be right to myself, man. I hold be, on, time out. Hold on. <laughs> you, <laughs> what you mean you used to be right to yourself? Man, like when you write me on Instagram, mm -hmm. instead of me here replying reply to you, I'll wait later and then I go back and look at your name and write to you. And it just be a whole bunch of people I'm and and writing under there instead of the, the conversation being under there. So I put some shit up the other day with, with, with a snake at my yard. So I added my girl name in there. So she sent that to me. So I get a lot of comments. So she was like, why you telling yourself on, on your page? I'm like, what you mean? She like, why you write people like that? I like, and how you finding their name like that? I like, I go back to my comment, look at it, and I try to type it in. She was like, why you not here reply and just reply? That's how to come. Now, all your people with your blue checks who write to you, that's why they shit be so far down. You don't even know they be don't say it to you. You just got a whole bunch of yourself talking to yourself. So I like, damn. Somebody else just said that shit, man. Somebody just was laughing at when I said that. She was like, you been doing that? I said, y'all do that shit on all my posts. I just found out I put a hit reply from the thing. And 
<laughs> and, uh, hey, boy, it sound like an old nigga, boy. But yeah, it sound like an old boy. <laughs> Bro, it sound like an art, boy. I had that hell, goddamn. I'm talking about, I looked at that shit. all your shit at the top. Yeah, bro, I looked at that shit. I said, damn, bro, this shit look crazy. Hey, I had an uh, 80 song comment that I was just at different nigga, but it ain't in their conversation. They just did some folk might come back. She said, what if some folk wrote that an hour ago? Don't even know what you and them saying thank you for. That shit just say they name and thank you. <laughs> it ain't in the conversation. I'm like, damn, man. I got it right though. I'm on it now, bro. Yeah. I'm on it. Yeah. yeah I'm on it. Shit, man. Good I'm on it. I'm on it. Nah, for real, man. But shit, man, we we'll have to do it again. Can't Should wait. As soon as shit drop, man. You know what I'm saying? We still have some shit that got down. We still live a lot of, we still live a lot of shit out. It's a lot of still other shit. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scene that I want to talk about because I want to show a lot of the artists who go through shit, who, who rapping. These street niggas don't have no format. They don't have to be like, damn, he did this behind the scene when he was doing music. He did this behind the scene. He did music. I, I ain't going to do this. They don't got that. Because everybody just put, oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And you just don't hear from niggas. You see what I'm saying? Niggas don't never. So I always like to get niggas the opposite. I just want to also just let people know who you are, your story, where you come from. So niggas will tap back in. So next time we on, niggas already know what's going on. You niggas did. Do that research. Niggas don't got them put up all the songs. Because yeah. niggas finna go got there and watch this shit. Oh, no. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? It's, nah, it's, bro, it's, yeah. niggas from, it's niggas from 18 to 55 who watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's going to be some young niggas. It's, it's some young niggas who just think I'm the nigga Desi you should be talking about. Pale. Yeah, they don't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Damn, till, they be like, till they be like, oh, no, nah, that's woo, 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 Because they young niggas, you feel yeah, me? Don't know nobody. <laughs> Shit, man. Well, until next time, dog. y'all already know, man. Live yeah. Digi House Studio, this your boy Pale. We in the apartment with Pale. Meet me in the apartments.